um, you come to your basic and click on this first one right here which is foreground to background and click on ok now what you are going to do you come to your blend mode and change the blend mode to multiply and once you change your blend mode to multiply like this next thing you are going to do is just reduce the opacity hello guys welcome back to another amazing video my name is Tony Victor and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I color graded this image right here so this was the image um, color originally and this was my color grading so I'm just going to turn this one off so the first thing I did for this image I added um, contrast to this image using my levels adjustment layer so just come to your adjustment layer over here or you come down here and click on your um, levels adjustment layer then I come to my highlights right here hold alternate and just drag this highlight inside a little bit like this so i feel it's okay like this i'm seeing some red some red lines on the image so if you feel if you overdo it like this it's not going to make the image look good you can see the image looking so bright so these are before and these are after so it's too much so i'm just going to hold alternate again and just take it a little bit down like this and i'll just move my shadows inside a little bit like this as well so these are before and these are after i've added a little bit of contrast to this image like this so this i'm going to do right now i want to um apply some colors to the shadows area of this image because i feel the shadows is to look into red so i'm just going to um add blues and science to the shadows and to do that i come to my adjustment layer again i come to my color balance adjustment layer so i click on my color balance and i'll come to my shadows and um i'll just add blues a little bit of blues to my shadows so i'll add uh, i think plus six and for my science i add plus minus seven so if i take it to this side i'm adding science if i take it to this side i'm adding reds to the shadows as you can see so i'm just going to take it to the science side to I think minus six or minus five it's okay and for this slider right here if i take it to this side i'm adding yellows to the shadows but if i take it to this side i'm adding blues to the shadows so i'm just going to add a little bit of blues i think um plus six is okay plus six is okay so let's see uh before and after so i've added blues and science to the shadows so next i'm going to do right now i want to make the image look a little bit dark like that melanin feel and to do that i'll come back to my adjustment layer again i come to my gradient map so i click on my gradient map so once i click on my gradient map make sure um the gradient you are using is set to um, you come to your basic and click on this first one right here which is foreground to background and click on ok now what you are going to do you come to your blend mode and change the blend mode to multiply and once you change your blend mode to multiply like this next thing you are going to do is just reduce the opacity all the way down so i feel 40 is ok so i'm going to be using 40 for this image so these are before and these are after so next thing i'm going to do right now i come to my adjustment layer again i come to my curves i want to add brightness to the image so i come to my curves and just click on default and click on lighter rogb so i've added a little bit of brightness to the image so before and after so next thing i'm going to do right now i feel the magenta of this image is too much so i'm just going to take a little bit of magenta away from the image and remember color grade is optional you can decide to color grade your image whichever way you want i'm just showing you guys how i color graded this particular image the one you see online so next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my adjustment layer again click on my selective color and um come to my reds you know the skin to consist of reds and yellows so i come to my reds so i just take a little bit of blacks away from the reds like this my so my think minus um 11 it's okay then um i come to my magenta i'll add a little bit of um greens to the image so if i take it to this side i'm adding greens to the image if i take it to this side i'm adding magenta to the image so the opposite of magenta is green like that so i'm just going to take it towards the green side like this to remove a little bit of magenta from the image so i think um minus 10 it's okay and if i for my science slider if i take it to this side i'm adding rest to the image but if i take it to this side i'm adding science to the image so because i want that kind of melanin feel i'm just going to add a little bit of science to the image so i take my rest sliders to about um i think plus 10 i don't want it to be too much so i come to my yellows again and for my yellows i just take a little bit of blacks away from my yellows i think minus 8 is okay 
and um, I'll just add um, a little bit of magentas to the yellows or let me see if I take away magentas to the yellows okay I think I, I just took away a little bit of magentas from the yellows I think minus six and uh, for my cyan I think I'll just add a little bit of red to my to my yellows like that so these are before and these are after so, so let me just group everything I just did so you can see the before and after so these are before and these are after these are before and these are after so guys that's how I color graded this image and also if you learn anything from this video make sure to give this video a like so more people can see this video and learn from this video as well and if you want to learn how to retouch your image using focus equation make sure to click on this video showing your screen right now i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative